Now, they find it almost impossible to secure formal employment in Kenya, and seemingly simple tasks such as banking their money is beyond their grasp. The Makonde, members of an ethnic group that has made its home in the country's coastal region, say the government has forgotten them. Wilkis Tanyabwa has the story of the Makonde who migrated from their original homeland in Mozambique long before Kenya gained her independence. <laughs> the deep creases on their faces cannot conceal the dark markings etched on the skin of the older members of the Makonde community. Years after they left home, these facial tattoos identify members of an ethnic group that now finds itself stuck between two countries, never fully belonging to either. <laughs> the Makonde hail from Mozambique. Hundreds of Makonde refugees and freedom fighters left their home country in the 1950s to work in the sisal farms at the Kenyan coast. Many intermarried with Kenyans and decided to stay. Never having visited Mozambique, their children learnt nothing but the local languages. But they still don't belong. The Makonde do not have Mozambican identification documents, as many were born here, but they do not hold Kenyan identification cards either. And this causes all sorts of complications. For example, in Kenya, school children are required to produce birth certificates before sitting national examinations. <laughs> It is also a struggle to secure employment. Ataka mani askari gongo wende mali wa askari tuivi mtu na kwambia lete kibali huna sasa pesa pingine ya kujikimu au ya kumuendeleza mtoto wako au ya kujiendeleza yu mwenye binafsi inakuwa inakuwa ngumu. Given that they cannot open bank accounts, some deposit their money in their friends' accounts while others hide their money under their beds. Tabiri timbia chini panya kichukua mbasi hasa utendazie kawapi. But the Makonde have not always been out in the cold. In 1963, the Makonde were allowed to vote. Kenyatta katupatia nini? Vitambulizo. Kenyatta the Makonde are known for their exceptional wood carving skills. Carving sculptures enables them to earn an income. Lack of national identity cards has hindered many of them from engaging in more lucrative commercial activities. It also limits their movements as they fear being arrested and labeled illegal aliens. <laughs> In the face of Kenya's reluctance to acknowledge their presence, would they rather return to Mozambique? Mama mekufa, baba mekufa, bibi mekufa. Wata wala nita kutuwe kase mgani. Wajua mtu wanajifunia kwao. Mtu wanajifunia kwao. Mimi mezola huku coast. Najua papa wanazi, najua miembe, najua... Aso kinipeleka kule, wanza nesha maisha mingina ambao sita ya wezo. Mimi nataka Kenya. Ni nomba yu, ni nomba. Niwe nini? In the olden times, the Makonde etched markings onto their faces so that no matter how far from home they went, they could always identify each other. In Kenya, the facial tattoos simply set them apart. Those who carry the mark know that they do not belong yet. KTN.